All right, let's uh, get some reaction on this from both the uh, pro-independent side and also the other, because I'm happy to say that Ruben Tambolio and Catalan MP Carlos Prats are on the programme. Ruben is... Um, I think fair to say anti-independence, Carlos, is of the other persuasion. Ruben, can we, can we perhaps begin with you today? Um, Catalonia votes for independence and Madrid approves direct rule over the region. Polar views, heated atmosphere. What can we expect next? Uh, good evening. Uh, well, it's, di it's difficult to... Um it's difficult to know. We hope that uh, the Spanish government will not uh, use uh, uh, force this time. Uh, uh, we have been offering dialogue uh, uh, the last uh, weeks, uh, and we keep offering dialogue to the, to the Spanish government and the rest of the European Union in order to, to, to solve the, the situation in a democratic uh, way, uh, sitting in, uh, on a table and discussing about how could we go forward. Uh, we sadly uh, don't have any answer from the Spanish uh, uh, government, and uh, we, we are quite sure that they, their reaction will be uh, aggressive and, uh, and uh, undemocratic, because what they are trying to do is to demolish our regional government, our institutions, our parliament and take control even of uh, our uh, social, um, uh, social movements. Okay. Uh, you should uh, know that we have two political prisoners at the moment in Madrid, uh, two um, responsibles from the main Catalan uh, pro-independence uh, movement. Uh, Carlos, um, there, there are of course uh, celebrations today, but it, it's not just Madrid who views um, this independence declaration as unlawful. Uh, according to polls, half the people in Catalonia would vote against independence. It does beg the question, is now the right time to celebrate when there is so much happening that is uh, against so many people in the region? Well, uh, actually, uh, what we've done today is to, to make a declaration uh, following the, the results of the ob obeying the mandate from the 1st of October. You should remember that the 1st of October, the Catalan referendum had 42% uh, uh, of participation. Uh, even we had uh, uh, all the difficulties uh, coming from the Spanish government uh, using violence. And uh, we had uh, 700,000 uh, votes that were taken by the Spanish government and we couldn't uh, uh, count. So it, it would mean that the participation in uh, Catalonia uh, had reached the 56% uh, of uh, participation of the Catalan uh, society. Okay. And uh, the results were 80% uh, uh, in, uh, in favor of yes. Okay, Ruben uh, Tambolio, political scientist, has been patiently standing by there. Let's bring you in now, Ruben. Um, Barcelona is yeah. flooded by people celebrating independence, while in Madrid, of course, the parliament votes for Article 155, cracking down on autonomy. Don't you think that the voice of the people should still be heard? The voice, uh, the yes, voice of sure. the people is, uh, is, yeah, the voice of the people is getting heard. The problem right now is the uh, nationalist movement, the independent movement, is living in a parallel world, in another world, because the half of the people in the region, uh, they want to keep, remain uh, in Spain. So they can go against the, the half of the population if uh, their own region. So that is the main problem now. The fracture is social. The companies, the business are going to other parts of the country because there is not a security with the law, with the procedures and with the future in the, in the region. So right now the, we are waiting for the measures of the national government because uh, we need to keep uh, the control and we need to restore the order and the constitution in the region. Yeah, Ruben, we will get to the business issue in a moment, but if I can just stick with you for a moment, because uh, Spain's foreign minister has called Article 155 a, quote, 
atomic bomb. It does beg the question, maybe there are some more moderate ways to settle this issue, Ruben. No, it's not a bomb. It's not uh, it's a uh, it's Spain's a way foreign that minister it's, said uh, that. Former no, foreign minister. But it's, me. It's, uh, it's, it's too difficult to use these words uh, right now because uh, that article in the Constitution is the same that it, it is in other constitutions in some other parts of the other countries, uh, democracies like Spain. So uh, to use that article, it's perfectly normal. It's not, it's not uh, usual, but it's normal in the, in the laws in the European uh, countries. So it's normal to restore the law and to restore the democracy because as you can see in the images from today the half of the parliament it wasn't there it wasn't outside because they don't uh, were following even the the internal procedure so that okay. is important because from from almost two months ago even in that the regional parliament the procedure is not going according to the regional law and the procedures carlos you're shaking your head in disagreement yes 100% uh, disagreement because uh, you can't say that it is undemocratic to to uh, to to listen the, the voice of the people and what we have been trying to do here in Catalonia but is it's, always it's not giving like, the possibility that people. Like you know, people, it's not the majority. Yes, uh, that, uh, uh, the the point is that you don't want people be express their uh, their uh, their opinion, and what we've been trying to do since uh, two years ago is to, to find uh, a possibility for the Catalan society to express. And uh, this uh, was done the 1st of October. You tried to, to, to make it impossible, even though the, we, we could do it. Uh, and 55, 56% of people participated and 80% of the people uh, decided uh, yes. Is uh, these results are much no. higher the 90, uh, than the 90% the of, of the Catalans is, support the constitution is, when it was the referendum for no. the constitution 40 no. years ago. So that is, a, that is important uh, because the, the constitution the is a framework. Yeah, the, the constitution the is the legal framework approved, for uh, everyone in, can live together and to get prosperity. As you know, the, the business until these movements, until until this uh, terrible time, were growing this up. This is not a question we of are, business. Uh, getting this out is a of question the of democracy. And right now, uh, sorry, but this is not a question of, of companies and business. Uh, what you have in Madrid, this is a question of democracy, and you should uh, listen what people, uh, yeah. what Catalan people, uh, what, uh, what no. uh, do they want for the for the future? You are only worried about the Evex and uh, companies. Uh, based uh, well, well, in Madrid. Okay, and, uh, I'll Spanish get the view of both of you on this. Carlos, we'll, we'll start with you because the economy is a huge thing, is it not? We know that one of the biggest things surrounding any decision like this is the economy. We've already seen businesses leave the region. Others are worried over issues as to who they actually have to pay tax to. Do they pay to Madrid? Do they pay to Catalonia? Do they pay to both? There's a lot of confusion here, Carlos. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, the situation is going to uh, be clarified in the coming days. Uh, what we've, uh, uh, on the 1st of October, uh, uh, we, uh, it, it, um, the point is that after the 1st of October, we decided to postpone the declaration because we wanted to, 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 to start a negotiation with the Spanish government. They didn't uh, want it at all. So th this it means that uh, we had four weeks uh, with uh, 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 an unclear uh, situation for, for companies and even also for society. Today what we've done is to de make the declaration and from today and, and the coming days the Catalan government will start uh, act, uh, um, uh, uh, creating uh, the, the procedures in how uh, society and companies and mm. uh, things have to, 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 to develop. But uh, I would like to remark that the, the Spanish government has been uh, pushing and pressing the Catalan companies to move out of uh, our region, or from our country now, from our state. And uh, the Spanish, even the Spanish king, uh, has been making uh, calls to uh, companies in it's order to move government. their head, uh, headquarters to Madrid. So they've been uh, pressing uh, companies like uh, Volkswagen or like Seat in Martorell in order to be transferred to, to Madrid. 
So this is that, not, that uh, is not, not true. unfair. That I don't is not think true. that the, this, this is true because the company uh, confirmed that. I am not confirming that. It's the company that did, did it uh, directly. So they, they the are complaining about a, the consequences of this movement. No. no. Ruben, go ahead. No, the people uh, is afraid. I, I, the people is afraid because the future is not clear. No. Ruben, go ahead. So it's important to restore clear. the law and the order. No, the law. We have the Catalan law and uh, the disorder. There, there is no disorder. The, I am the regional government, the vice president, the, the, was lying all the time. Yeah, the regional no, government the were lying to the people because they were we saying that the companies were uh, keeping their remaining there. Uh, that is not happening now. The one, uh, the only one part uh, that is thousand, to, more to than make, one thousand uh, companies were leaving. And to introduce the only part that is trying no, to, there isn't to create violence. confusion, to create chaos uh, in here in Catalonia is the Spanish uh, government using the Spanish uh, uh, army uh, here in, in Barcelona. What we, uh, uh, Catalan uh, society is a really democratic and pacific uh, uh, and we have been demonstrating that since uh, 2000, uh, the, the year 2010. We've been uh, uh, participating in uh, many shows uh, uh, and all uh, international uh, co uh, community has uh, 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 saw that. But and, the, uh, the really international community not is not supporting you. Any. Well, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. The international the community is not supporting you. Been, well, uh, I mean, you are not and the, international the vote community. of today. You are, uh, you are not uh, responsible the of today for, for the decision of. Let's go let's ahead, see what Ruben. Respond to that. Days. Yeah. The vote of today uh, wasn't uh, wasn't free because it was uh, it was close. It was secret. And see if he, if you what, what if what what you are doing it's so good. What uh, are you not doing uh, freely? And uh, everybody can know what are voting every of the dep deputies. Okay, we have around a minute because left. Can we, can, to put okay, can we just yes, get your sure. final thoughts, your, your, your conclusions really on what uh, has happened today and what it will mean for the future? Uh, Carlos, just, you've got 20 seconds just to sum up your views, please. Then we'll go to Ruben. Yes, uh, well, Catalonia has declared the independence. We start a constitutional uh, process, a pacific process, offering dialogue to Spain, to the rest of the international community, and we, we are really pacific, democratic, and we hope that also international community will interfere and will help us against the, the Spanish government that they are trying to use force uh, to, 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 and to, to take the control uh, against the Catalan, uh, 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 the majority of, uh, of society. Ruben, you can go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the problem is that uh, anybody in the international sphere is going to give a recognition to this state. Uh, right now, the Spanish government is working to restore the constitutional order in the region, and we have to protect the, to protect the half of the Catalans that they want to keep their rights, they want to keep remain Spanish, they want to keep uh, going ahead with their business uh, with the rest of the country, uh, they want uh, their rights uh, safe, and they want to make their relations. I don't want uh, to lose uh, the history, the common language, the common uh, uh, relations, and all the good things that they are happening, uh, living together, working together. Okay. And uh, for example, we can we cannot understand other things. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, you have 10 seconds. Yes, uh, the, it's very sad, Ruben, that you are just uh, saying that you want to save 50% uh, of Catalan society. You should care about 100% of Catalan society and not okay. using violence at all. Ruben Tambolio, political scientist and independent, anti-independence uh, campaigner, and Carlos Prats, Catalan MP and pro-independence. Thank you both for a spirited debate on an important day in Catalonia and indeed further afield.